the first thing you have to do before you want to test the system is to make sure. So I'm going to go slowly. Under settings, which I've already set, you scroll up by touching and, and sliding up. You have to go to settings, preferences, and defaults. This is what was preventing you from getting the heat above 81. That's what I was trying to explain to you. If you go to preferences and you see the heating range, I've already changed for it to be from 75 to 120. Before, it would only reach up to 81, which is why when you tried on the home screen to swipe it up, why it won't go above 81. You had to go into the preferences first. Cooling range, I've changed to be 23 to 65. That's the first thing you have to do, okay? Um, none of these other things are, are really necessarily that important. In fact, heating, smart recovery, I'm gonna disable those things. So all of these things are, are disabled within preferences on the bottom. Heating, smart recovery, cooling, smart recovery, disabled, disabled because I want it on manual, full manual mode. That is step one. Touching here on the left, that doesn't do anything and it also doesn't mean that it's locked. Right now, as you can see, it's off. Okay, now, now we're gonna check the schedule. So if you scroll up and you go to schedule, you'll see that it appears as if this is the setting for Friday today, but it's not. Initially, when I came, there were like three or four settings here, which was overriding anything that you wanted to do. That's the second thing. Thing, when you go to the hamburger menu, you go to comfort settings, on home, it cannot be on auto if you want the heat. It has to be on on. Right now, we're not so worried about AC, but technically, both of these have to be on on, not on auto, because you want to manually control the heating and the cooling system for you to test it. But originally, this was both set to auto, which is preventing you from actually doing a, a test. So I'm going to go all the way back. It's still off. Okay, now... So it's off right now. Let's turn on the heat. Click on off, select heat, drag the 76 as high as you want. That's not a lock screen. That just tells you it's gonna hold at 86 and increase the temperature to 98, then it'll turn off. And as we can hear, it just turned on. It just turned on. So the heat is working, okay? Okay, now, the heat is on right now, but I wanna turn it off. Click the fire icon, select off, and it'll start to turn off. It usually takes about a minute and a half to two minutes in order for the heater to turn off. It's not instantaneous. Now we can, Click on that right now, which is which is fine. So you just wait until the heat turns off from the HVAC system. Okay, so it's still trying to heat up, but the thermostat is still talking to the system in order for it to actually turn off. About 30 seconds have just transpired, and I just tested the heat. Okay, now I'm going to test the AC. Now remember, this all stems from the settings that I had set to make sure that I can, I can actually test the heat and the cool and the AC, sorry. So if, there, if your heating at the top of the range was set from 30 to 65 and you hit heating, if, if you were to go be over here and you hit heat, but the current temperature is 86, but the max settings or the preferences in here are set to 65, the heater will never turn on at all because your settings aren't correct but the settings are correct now right i'll go back to it and i'm gonna i'm gonna go i'm gonna go through this slowly this is the home screen hamburger menu click it once scroll up to settings select preferences the heating and the cooling are set correctly heating i've defined as 75 to 120 cooling 23 to 65 so I'm not going to change anything. This is what I want it to be set at in order for me to manually test it. Okay. Also notice that my comfort settings for home are set to on, not auto. Okay. Now let's go all the way back to the home menu. Super easy. It's off right now. I want to test the AC. Cool. 
and I'm gonna drag that like super low. I think in the preferences I put like 30 would be the lowest. And look, I haven't even finished and it just turned on. It just turned on. Let's wait a little bit. Okay, now I wanna turn that off. How do I turn that off? Super easy from the home menu. Select it, off. If I wanted to, I can just X that out, which is fine. But again, it's not like immediately, it'll turn off right away because I just told it to turn on the AC. I would imagine it would take about maybe 30 seconds for it to turn off. So let's come over and let's actually wait a little bit until it turns off. So it's still trying to blow. It's set to off. This 86 is just displaying the current temperature in the house and the current humidity, which is 69%. That's what that's saying. So it's not saying you're setting it to 86. That's the current temperature. Okay, so we're still waiting. Like I said, it's not instantaneous. <clears throat> It's still off, 86. Okay, it just turned off roughly about 30 seconds. Let's go back over here. It says off. Okay, now it's off. We wanna turn the heater on. Right? Go to off. Heat. I'm gonna crank this sucker all the way up. Remember my range was like over a hundred, I think. Look, it immediately turned on the heater. And while it's turned on, I can actually go over here and increase the temperature while it's on. Notice that this doesn't say that it's locked. It's just telling me that once I've identified the specific heat that I want, that it's gonna hold at 117. It's trying to go from 86 to 117. That's what that means, okay? So that's the heater. Now I can go here and turn it off, okay? All right, let's go over here now. Now we're gonna wait to see how long it actually turns off the heater. So 86, I set it to like a ridiculous amount, like 117, right? Yeah, 117. I'm telling you, it should turn off now. So the AC took about 30 seconds to turn off. Let's see how long it takes for the heater to turn off. It might take a little longer because it's activating the, um, the furnace. Might be a couple more steps involved in the system to turn it on and then to turn it off. Okay, it wasn't as long as I thought. So it just turned off the heater. Okay, again, this number will not change unless you keep the heat on for a significant period of time, increasing the temperature in the home. So it's off now. Okay, resuming your schedule, right? And the schedule, remember I taught you how to do that under schedule under Friday, this is the default one. It's not really following that. Plus I have everything not on auto, right? The comfort settings are not on auto, it's on on, which means every time I change something on the thermostat, it immediately has to listen to me, all right? So I'm gonna cancel out of here, go back here to the very beginning. Let's go back to AC, cool. And I'm gonna go all the way down, all the way down. It just turned on. It turns on almost immediately with the AC. With the AC feature, it turns on almost immediately. Okay, now, let's turn it off. Click here, off. I'm, I'm, I just turned off the AC. 
So let's see how long it takes for it to, oh, see for the AC, it immediately turns it off. But it's a little bit different from the heat, from the heating system because it obviously has an igniter there. It's gonna trigger that. So it takes, it's a longer process is what I'm trying to say with the heater than it is for the AC. Let's talk about everything that we just went over, okay? From this home screen, regardless of what this says, which is not a lock mechanism of any sort, you can click on this and choose what you want to do. If you're testing it, you should not be choosing auto at all because it's going to follow the schedule, which we've discussed in the previous videos. Okay. Don't have it on auto. You want to have it on heat or cool to uh, make those changes. Now under the hamburger menu, right under schedule, there is nothing on each schedule. This is just the, the default that is being shown but technically you're not using that, okay? But it was really the settings and preferences is what was preventing you from manually turning on the heater and the AC. This was not set correctly and neither was this, along with the fact that on your settings under comfort on home were set to auto, which means you're not allowed to actually manually change them. The thermostat will determine that based upon the temperature in the house. So here's a quick recap. I know I talked about a lot of things, but click on off. If you want heat, go to heat, increase it. I set the range to be a ridiculous amount. Okay, you can increase it. Let's see how high I can get it to. Because I changed this in the preferences, right? All the way to 120. That's how you set the heat. If you want to turn it off, click on the flame hit off. It'll take some time to turn off. From off, if you wanna turn on the AC, click on off, hit cool. Choose your temperature, okay? You can actually hear it in the background, changing like crazy. Let's see how far I went down in the settings. I wanted to go to 25 for cool. Let's just say I just wanna turn it off now. I hit off. It's not gonna be instantaneous when it turns off, remember, right? It's gonna take some time. That's how you test the system.